talk about deposition. Deposition is the process by which sediments are released, settled from, or dropped from an erosional system. It's sediments that are placed in locations where they may form beds or layers, eventually turning into sedimentary rocks. For the most part, deposition will occur in large bodies of water. Deposition will also occur when the velocity or speed of a stream, wind, or other erosional system decreases or stops. The time it takes for sediments to be deposited is called the rate of deposition. This depends on the velocity of the agent of erosion and the characteristics of the sediments. Let's talk about what those characteristics are and how those characteristics will affect the rate of deposition. There are six different sizes of sediments and those six different sediments are listed in your earth science reference tables on page six. There's a chart that looks like this and that chart clearly identifies all six different sediments. So on our stream velocity versus particle diameter, uh, we have a curved line. That curved line demonstrates the velocity required to carry certain particles or certain sediments. And the dotted lines that run horizontally show the cutoffs for each size of sediment. So for instance, boulders are 25.6 centimeters or larger. And a stream would need to be moving uh, about 200 centimeters per second to be able to carry the smallest boulder. Uh, moving on to cobbles. Cobbles are between 6.4 centimeters and 25.5 centimeters. Moving further down, pebbles between 0 0.2 and 6.3 centimeters. Sand between 0 0.006 and 0 0.1 centimeters in diameter. Silt 0 0.0004 centimeters and 0 0.005 uh, centimeters. That's the cutoff there. And then clay is the smallest particle possible. Let's look at how this actually works. I have three different particles, uh, a large, a medium, and a small, and I'm going to drop them into water simultaneously. If I did that, the large sediment would settle faster than the smaller sediment, thus proving what that chart in our reference tables demonstrates, that the larger sized sediments are going to be deposited at a faster rate compared to smaller sized sediments. On a graph, it would look something like this. As my size of sediments increase, my rate of deposition will also increase. So this is a direct relationship. Let's move on to the next characteristic, shape. So looking at shape, I have two different shapes in this example. I have a round object and I have a flat one. So let's look at how that affects settling time. So the flat object definitely takes a longer amount of time to settle in the water because of its shape. It's twirling around and hitting the sides. So we can say that rounder sediments are going to settle faster than flat sediments. And looking at it, this on a graph, it could, be in, it could be shown to you in a lot of different ways. If you look at the x-axis, I'm showing from round to flat. So as I'm going from round objects or round sediments to flatter sediments, my rate of deposition is going to decrease. So in this case, it's an indirect relationship. If you're given this type of question on a quiz or a test or the regents, make sure you look carefully at that x-axis of what's really being displayed. But no matter what, the flatter you get, the longer it takes to settle. The rounder you get, the easier it is for sediment to settle. And our last characteristic, density. So density, we talked about earlier in the year, has to do with really the ratio of mass to volume. So a denser material 
is going to sink faster than a less dense material. So whatever uh, rocks or sediments are being carried, the denser sediments are going to settle faster than the less dense sediments. So again, on a graph, as I increase my density of my sediment, I'm going to have a faster rate. So in the topic of deposition, we also will talk about the sorting of sediments. And it's an important distinction to make because erosional agents will also perform deposition. So ice, water, wind, whatever agent of erosion you're looking at, it's going to slow down at some point and it's going to deposit those sediments. And, and that process is very important to attach to those agent agents of erosion. So let's take a look, right, of what we're talking about here. Sorted sediments means that they're really organized by size, shape, or density. It could be either of those three. Unsorted sediments really is just a big mess. Whatever it was being carried by the erosional agent just gets dumped. When I look at this list, I can remember that water and wind both start with W's, and the two W's are always sorted, layered, and rounded. And the two Gs, gravity and glaciers, are unsorted, unlayered, and unrounded. So just a quick little trick to uh, remember the deposition by these erosional agents. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching.